it's a vulnerable place to be. You're you're putting yourself every night or every day you're shooting or whatever, you're naked in front of people because you could fall on your face. Oh my God, the older I get, the more worried I am that my voice will fail me. Yeah. Even though I have more experience. I've had two panic attacks in the past month and I've never had panic attacks in my life. On the on job, because of the job work. Yes, yeah. <laughs> one when I was filming. Yeah and one on stage when i was singing oh wow and this has never happened i have i had a mini mini panic attack on stage once in the beats maybe 2014 or something mm -hmm. but nothing like what i had now and i think i don't know why i had them one of them so the one on set was just before i went on set it was after they did my makeup and my hair and my costume and i just felt so not me like i look at myself in the mirror and i went Oh my god and i don't know if it was that if it was the realization of you know i'm living the six-year-old girl's dream right now do i deserve it was am it i like any good imposter syndrome? Ma yeah, yeah maybe like um i also seen some seen some pictures of me like on the screen and i didn't like it because who does right like it was a big shock i was like oh my god do i look like that oh my god this is gonna be imprinted like this forever uh i think it was so many things i was overwhelmed yeah and but i was in my trailer like 10 minutes from being driven to set and i was like how and i had to call someone to help me because i was overheating they had to bring some ice i've never had that in my how, life how you dealt with it Okay, very honestly, I put some um, mantras, Buddhist mantras. I'm not a Buddhist, yeah, yeah. but um, but I I there's um, a, a lineage called Dzogchen uh, like, that I kind of follow, try and follow, and, and it helps me a lot with mm -hmm. um, meditation. I don't meditate all the time. It has to do with like meditate in short moments. So like when you catch yourself something happening, just try and stop describing it very briefly and and then repeat. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so I think the mantras helped me um, and, and breathing. And also I could see clearly what was happening. I could see clearly, okay, this is because I'm insecure, but I've been doing this for 20 years. Why now? Like, um, it doesn't matter. This is, this is your dream. You're realizing a dream. Uh, the second one, I was on stage singing. I can't imagine. And um, being on stage singing and having panic attack. It was pretty awful. I don't know how I sang, but I managed to keep singing somehow. I am, um, again, also related to insecurity. That day I had felt insecure about my voice, about not liking the sound of my voice, about, oh, can they hear what I'm hearing? And I've been doing this for 20 years. Do you know what I mean? Like there was, there was something, and I don't know if it comes with age, also the fact that even though I'm more experienced, I feel more aware or more putting more pressure on myself. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm singing and I finish one of the songs straight to the other song and I'm like, and I start crying. I was like, okay, it's just crying. I've sang through cry, I'm like yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> and then I had to turn my, so it was a trio. So it was me, then John would sing, and then Shona would sing. So I finished my little bit and I usually turn to face John and I completely turn my back to the audience Yeah. because I was like, <laughs> like this, crying. And Tim Rice, who's like legendary, brilliant lyricist who was on stage was, was here. And he was looking at me and I was like, <laughs> just like, don't worry. <laughs> and, then, and then it was my turn to sing. So then I had to turn to the audience and like kind of, like, I don't know how I did it, I think with my breath. Yeah. Anyway, after that song, I had to walk off stage. I was on the floor. I couldn't breathe. Someone was there like trying to help me. Then I had to come back on stage and sing. And then I was very conscious because usually singers should sing from their belly. Mm -hmm. So breathing in from the belly. And what I had to do was like, I had to like hold all my breath up here and try and sing from here. Because if I relaxed, you could hear my mm -hmm. like that. Um, it was interesting. Look, all of this are interesting wow. experiences. Like yeah. they're very cool. So I sang that, I went off stage again. It was only the second time I went off stage that I managed to cool myself down, calm myself down, and then I came back and yeah, it's bizarre. Wow. I don't know why these things happen, but um, no matter you know how experienced or maybe even successful, like I imagine all the big, big successful actors that kind of attacks have more, well, yeah, yeah, more, I've heard. more onto them, like more expectation and more demands. Mm -hmm. and, 
I think we're quite lucky in a way sometimes that, well, I consider myself very lucky because I'm a, I'm a working actress most of the time, not all the time. Um, but I don't have that added constant pressure mm -hmm. um, that very famous people do. I honestly don't know how they do it.